all right, I want to camouflage this boat and I don't want it to look like crap. I ordered some stencils offline. I actually ended up getting the red leg camo and I think it's Havoc Timber, I think. It looks a lot like Mossy Oak Bottom Land. That's my favorite camouflage, so that's why I went with it. Now I've seen a lot of people do this online and it's supposed to be real easy. You lay it on there and you spray it and then you take it off and it's, it's two stencils. You put your next stencil on and you spray it. Well, a lot of the things I've seen online didn't turn out too great. And the problem is your boat isn't completely smooth. Well, at least my, my boat isn't completely smooth. You got that rib that runs all the way down the center, the side of your boat. Well, when you lay that stencil on there, it's gonna create a big wave. Well, if your stencil isn't laying flat, and when you spray, all those that wasn't completely flat is gonna be real cloudy looking. It won't get like a smooth line on them. Which, I know it's not gonna be perfect no matter what, unless you had one big stencil, like a sticker stencil that you could lay completely flat all the way over your boat, spray it, and then peel it all the way off, which would be very costly. So, the other side of my boat, I'm almost done with, and it's a lot of trial and error trying to figure out how to lay these stencils on and actually get them looking good. And like I said, this is the method that worked for me, and I wanted to make a video on it in case it could help somebody else. Nothing else to give you an idea of how you can tweak it to fit your boat to work. This is a 1436. I'm sure every boat's a little bit different now. Like I said, if your boat doesn't have that rib that's just completely smooth and flat, you can do these stencils and it's gonna look really good. But if you got a rib in the way, it's gonna look like crap unless you try to tweak it a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys what I did. The very first run I did on that side, I just did. I laid the stencil full length on there and sprayed it. And just like I thought, those spots that wasn't laying flat looked really cloudy. So what I ended up doing is cutting the stencils in half. So this is half of one, and this is the other half. Now these two went together and it was one big sheet. By cutting them in half, now you can place it on there and get around that rib a little bit better and the stencil lays a lot flatter. Let me show you guys up close. All right, so I got my stencil cut in half and I added some tape to where it got kind of close to where the cutouts are to keep from having any extra overspray. And I take my one half and I position it where I want it to be. And I got tape on each side and I just kind of lay it there. Like I said, you're gonna have a little bit of gap up here around this rib, but it's a lot better than if you had that full sheet up there. Then you can just go ahead and spray it. All right, then you can peel this one off. And set it somewhere and let it dry. All right, then take your other half and basically do the same thing with it. In some spots where if it looks like it's too much, you can use your finger and try to press down and close that gap up So You're gonna get pain on your hands doing it that way, but at least your stencil's gonna look good. Go ahead and spray it. Peel it off. And as you can see, none of these are very cloudy looking. They're all pretty solid. You can kind of see right there where it gets a little cloudy, but that's like the bottom side of the boat. So my boat's upside down and that won't be visible. So to me, doing it this way is gonna give it a lot cleaner look. The downfall to doing it this way is it's a lot slower. Like I gotta wait for this to dry before I can put it back up here because them little pieces of tape I have on the side to hold it in place is most likely gonna hit in one of the spots I just painted. So slow process but I'd rather take my time and have it look good than have it look like crap. I'm gonna go ahead and do this whole side in this brown, show you what it looks like. And then, like I said, this is a two stencil kit. I'll go back with the black. I'll show you how I laid it up there. Same way, it's just a little, little bit trickier on the black because how it's, it's like strips, almost like tree bark. So I gotta lay it up there a little bit different.
All right, so I got the first stencil all done on this side. It turned out okay. I had a couple little boo-boos, but the good thing about it is this black, once you lay it on there, it covers up a lot of your mistakes. The black is a lot thicker than the brown. Like right now, that's pretty ugly, in my opinion. It reminds me of some kind of jacked up cow or something. But I'm gonna show you how I did the second stencil. I had a lot of trial and error on the other side too. So if you ever look at my boat, don't look at that side, just look at this side. This side's gonna turn out a little bit better. All right, so just like the other stencil, this one was the same size and I cut it directly in half. And what I did on the other side, I found to do is lay it up here where you want it, which this one's gonna be a little jacked up because it's folded over. So I might have to try to hold it up. Get up there where you want it. Now I'm not gonna paint all the way up. I'm just gonna paint to about the middle part of this rib. And it's gonna get a little overspray on the other side, but that's gonna be okay. I'll try to hold this out a little bit. All right, I'll go ahead and peel it off. All right, the second half of the stencil, I went ahead and cut me some tape on the bottom part. That'll keep me, because this, this is the part that would be dangling around like the bottom of this part was. That way when I lay it up here, I'm gonna try to put this line right in the middle of this rib. That way it won't be overlapping and look like crap. Let's go ahead and lay it up there. Like I said, try to line it up at the middle of that rib. And another thing I found to cheat with this top part is, you know, it's the boat isn't as tall as the stencil is, so it was wanting to flop over. And I'll show you how I fixed it. I got a two by four and propped it up on the boat. And see how it's trying to keep that straight? I'll show you what happens if you don't have that two by four up there. See how it's bowing it out in the middle now? But if you slide that two by four up and give the top of that stencil something to rest on, it won't give you so much gap. All right, go ahead and spray this one on. Like I said, I got that bottom of that tape pretty much right there on that rib. That's it. Now it definitely isn't perfect. This glare in here is making it look worse. When this paint dries, it's really flat and it gives it kind of a cool shadow look to it. I think it's gonna work out pretty good. The other side, like I said, I, I messed up quite a bit. You know, a lot of trial and error, but the way it turned out, I think it looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this whole side. But like before, I gotta wait for this paint to dry and it's taking a while. That's a lot of my error over there was trying to rush it. And I go ahead and put a piece of tape up and then mess up some spots. But uh, it, it's taking a while. It's a whole lot better to do this on a warm day. It's like 31 degrees here today. So not ideal conditions for painting, but we're gonna get it done. If anybody's curious as to what colors I used on this, the base coat was a Lumahawk John Boat Green. I got it by a gallon and rolled it on. If you're interested in seeing that, I got a whole video of painting this boat. And then the brown was Rust-Oleum Satin Espresso. Satin Espresso. And then the black was Rust-Oleum Camouflage black they got a brown but i didn't really like the color of it they also had a green the green is too light for my taste I, I wanted something a little bit darker and that's it i mean 
it, it ain't perfect by no means. When I first started putting it on, I was like, I oh, really regretting this decision. But now that I see it done, I, I kind of like the look of it. I'm digging it. I'm glad I did it all. I still have the transom in the very front of the boat to do, but uh, actually another little tip, I should have videoed this. Towards the end, I was kind of getting in a hurry and I got my heat gun out and I was just trying to cure that very spot that was gonna be taped up, the black that I just sprayed. And that helped me out. But the thing about it, my stencils were getting so saturated. And plus, this is a new can. I got it. I actually had to go to Walmart and get another can because I ran out. And uh, for whatever reason, you see the tip, it was just spraying out like crazy. I actually took the tip off and used the old tip and it was still doing it. It was just wanting to splatter. So the, the front of this boat on this side is a little wonky, but you know, it just adds a little character to it. I think it's okay. I hope this helps somebody. Like I said, this isn't gonna win any kind of awards by no means, but it looks a lot better than some of the jobs I've seen. Uh, so take your time, you know, cut the stencils to make them work for you. And uh, I think your paint job will come out a lot better. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next one.